The next level we are going to solve is Protostar Stack 4. Um, the description says Stack 5 is a standard buffer overflow, this time introducing shellcode. So there are three hints to you. At the point in time, it might be easier to use someone else's shellcode. If debugging the shellcode uses um, backslash xcc in 3 to stop the program executing and return to debugger. Remove the int 3s once the shellcode is done. Okay, so the source code is very small. We only have a main, a buffer, and the gets. And we have to execute shellcode on it. So, um, to start first, we need again the offset. Um, let us take the uh, get the offset to for the next uh, for the so what what we what we will do we will first check um, the disassembler and then I will explain a bit more about it so because I have an idea how to solve it let's go to the levels first I've been there are the levels, okay, so stack 5, user input, and then nothing happens. So let's GDB it first. Let's disassemble main. What we will do here, we will use the returner again, like in the previous level. So we need the offset. Um, let's get the offset from it, like in the first levels. So we have a breakpoint, we will run it, we will print um, 64 A's, oops, 64, okay, then we will check for the base pointer pointer so this is the address of return then we will check the um, the stack where it is located on the stack uh, there are the a there it is there are a's and there is our, our um, return address so we will Calculate the difference now. This is not zero, this is C because it's one a uh, zero four eight twelve and twelve is C. And the stack starts right here. Minus and our offset is six seventy-six. So we will start writing our exploit. Um, exploit five dot py. So offset is Ace times sixty-seven. Okie dokie. So, what do we do now? Um, we can try it with sixty-seven to six again and see what happens. So, run it again. Continue. Continue segmentation fault so we are not allowed to jump exactly uh, to to jump uh, to use something after the return so we need to jump over something because we cannot access the memory here so what we will do is we could jump to the next instruction Okay, let's try it. I can I could run it with you and with input, but I don't want to right now because I only have to copy one thing. So we run it again in GDB. We input seventy six, so we already use our exploit script. Um, so let's check the 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 stack. ESP. Okay, let's single instruction. Let's 
check this stack again. Okay, now you can see we jumped to this address. So this is the next address to execute. Now this is the next next address. Let me think. Let's see, info registers. Let's continue and let's info registers again. Continue and we have no registers here. Let's start a new a GDP session. Um, the sample name. What is the? Ah, oh yeah, I'm retarded. T um, we in this GDP session we had the breakpoint here, so we always jump to the re uh, return because and uh, now we want to jump over the next instruction after return. We it's easier to break at the return address. Okay, then we will run it and input those 76 A's. Okay, now let's check the stack. 8x ESP. Okay, so this is the exact same thing we just saw here. So I had a should have just single step right here and not continued. So single step. Now if we check it we should yes we should execute this one and we can get the address of it uh, info red for the registers and this is this um, stack pointer address and in our exploit script we need to to get the stack the address in here. Um, I don't want to type it, so um, sp, just call it sp. I will use struct dot pack um, um, integer and the address. I have to import it import struct. So this is a way you are able to ta um, to get the integer of um, hex values. I've learned it in the current CTF which is running or which ran the Alex CTF from someone of our team uh, open to all. It's very convenient. And I think Live Overflow used it in his exploit to so this is a pretty neat trick. So um, okay, now we jumped after war after this, after the uh, so we jump to the um, stack pointer. We go to the stack pointer. Now we have to execute something. So now we have to check if we get code execution in it to run our shell script or uh, shell code. Um, one of the hints is that we can run this comment and this comment is a CC um, it's basically a breakpoint so let's try it um, with uh, breakpoint is backslash XCC I think it doesn't care if I add it big or small. Um, okay. So let's print our, our, our stuff. Print offset plus stack pointer plus breakpoint. Let's check it if it's running. Type and yep. Then direct it into file. Let's run gdb with this file. Yes. Okay. 
then check the stack at x at x in stack pointer there are our cc so if we single step check the stack again we are executing it and if we continue we should execute cc yes we did nice trace breakpoint trap so this is the cc we just executed so now we have um code execution uh, execution which is pretty good okay um let's check if it runs uh, without gdb so python um, opt protostar bin stack 5 um, So apparently the stack changes. Yeah, the the ASLR should not be enabled, but the stack change anyway. Well, that's not a problem. Um, I did some levels at the CTF two, and there is a little trick you can do if the stack somehow changes. Um, it's knob instructions. Uh, those are its instructions um, where nothing is happening. So we can edit our um, exploit again. So let's try it with knob instructions right before. Uh, we want to execute something, so uh, hex code for our instructions 90 plus. So let's call it a breakpoint execution. Execution. Okay. Let's try it again. Does not work again. So we have an offset. Then we go to an address and we execute. Or oh, maybe we are not in the area of the knob instructions. We have to run into those knob instructions and then execute CC. So let's try something. 10. Not working. 20 uh, illegal instruction so not working 30 trace point break so okay now we hit those um, knob instructions and execute the tra uh, the, the breakpoint cool um, now let's get a code from shell storm there we are we need um, to execute bin as h. So this is a other oh it's misses search history. I looked for it before. Let's take this one. This looks familiar. So let's import it. So what we want to do now, we don't want to execute CC. We want to execute shellcode. Whoops. Uh, it was 73, yes, um, let's get this done, B, so okay, let's call it shellcode, 
Okay, um, because the shellcode is a is way bigger than those um, four CCs. We need to print out more um, knobs. Uh, let's call it knobs. Okay, um, so let's try it. Offset SP knobs and shell code. Okay, okay. So now we are going uh, to the offset to um, our address in our knobs and executing shell code. Let's run it and we should we should be done right now. Let's try a CC here again. Plus backslash CC times four. Legal instruction. Oh, XC. We hit it, but we don't execute the shell code. So we 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 hit this point right here, but we don't execute the shell code. Why do we don't execute the shell code? Check out the shell code again. So mm -hmm, it sets it to zero. Ex to zero pushes ex. Does some stuff right here. I think that's bin and that's his age. And we int it with this. So it says we have to remove it. Then we are going to remove it. Oh, okay. It's not working. So let's Google it. <laughs> um, so Unix shell uh, closes after zero x eighty in structure. Let's Google it like a retard. Okay. Ah, this looks like my problem. Ah, I've seen it with a minus. Ah, I've seen it on Gunvar's stream, I think. I know it. This is a, such a cool trick. So, what we do now, we um, use it with exploit 5, not py. So, we, we print out our exploit string to a file, and now we will cut the file, um, we will cut the TMP exploit file, uh, it's already in TMP, we will cut the exploit file minus for our user input, so um, the minus is again, yes, std in, it's user input, pipe it into opt produce star in stack 5, so now we can um, print something, yes, this is a shell. Who am I? I'm rude. Yes. So we are done.